Good morning, everybody. The start of a new week, Monday morning. Uh, we'll see what this one holds. I'm looking outside my window now, and it is so foggy and overcast. I uh, didn't expect that. Uh, it'll probably burn off in a little while, but right now it's it's uh, hard to even just see across the canyon, um, and it's not that far. Just it's kind of kind of like being at Highgate Cemetery in London. I, every time I'd go to London, I loved to go to Highgate because it was the um, cemetery that they used in like all of the Peter Cushing um, movies, all the horror movies when they'd be you know wandering through these foggy cemeteries. It's really an, an atmosphere. But Christopher, I always thought of Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing when I would go there. Um, I want to remind everybody here who's in the club that the um, live stream is tomorrow, Tuesday at 3 p.m. It's not Wednesday this time. It's, it's uh, Tuesday. So I just don't want anybody to get mixed up and come Wednesday and go, oh, God, I missed it, you know. So I'm, I'm trying to make sure you got a good heads up for it. Uh, let's see what what else is going on. I have a interview, a Zoom interview at 10 a.m. In, in a little while. And uh, we're just sitting here waiting for books to clear customs and get delivered and T-shirts. Hopefully the T-shirts in the next few days. And I noticed some people are ordering artwork. So we'll get that processed and get those printed and mailed to you too. So yeah, just um, I'm, I'm sitting here right at the, waiting for the giant wave to come, come crashing. But uh, I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to get as much uh, done on my own as I can. And if I, if I need any help, I will solicit some help, but I don't, I really want to try to get the stuff out as soon as possible so people can have it for the holidays. And if there's any issues with anything, there's a, a window where you orders are, especially on the website for the t-shirts and artwork and the book. If you have any problems at all, I, there's a help window in there. And Laura, who's um, kind of administering the website, um, will check that out and respond to you, or I will. Um, but don't hesitate to um, write in if you if you had some issue with your order or anything like that. Um, so today, um, I, I mentioned this yesterday in yesterday's video that, um, oh, by the way, new shirt. It's not the, the torn one. This is a little Eddie Bauer thing my wife got for me that's um, it's cozy, kind of comfy, you know, why not, why not? And the other one has got so many holes in it now that it's a there's probably more air coming through it than if I, I wore, didn't wear a shirt at all. It's it's really, I tend to wear things until they fall apart and then throw them away. That's, there was a real interesting thing. I was listening to the classical radio station and they were talking about the great composer Eric Satie. And apparently he was pretty eccentric. He would only eat foods that were white, be it milk, bread, you know, I don't know, marshmallows, who knows, I mean, but things like that. But apparently he would, he found like one suit that he really liked. So he bought about 18 of them and he had them all in his closet and he would wear one until it completely fell apart and was threadbare. Then he would throw it away and start the next one. I always love when you find out about characters like that. It's, it's pretty uh, interesting what goes into the genius of their music. It's a, can be a pretty pretty deep character at the other end. But what I was mentioning yesterday was I was going to go visit a friend of mine and um, not visit him because he has passed away. He passed away back in 2005. But it was the great, really great Michael Botts. And Michael was a f wonderful drummer. I mean, first and foremost, everybody knew him as a drummer. He was the drummer in the group Bread. Um, and, um, but I worked with him. He 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 recorded and toured with Linda Ronstadt, Carla Bonoff, Andrew Gold. Um, he was with Dan Fogelberg uh, near the end. They were doing a lot of work together, and it was just it, it was just kind of surreal because Fogelberg was was ill. He was diagnosed with, I believe, he had cancer. I, I can't. I'd have to go back and look that one up again. But I remember I would talk to Mike about that all the time, and Mike was really concerned for Dan. 
And then Mike got sick and ended up passing even before Dan. So it was really a, a really sad situation. But he was the best guy to hang out with. And back in those days, I still ate, ate meat. And he made probably the best tri-tip of anybody I ever knew. I mean, you know, we'd go over to his house and just like, it was pretty hard to put the brakes on, you know, once once we started. Um, but he um, he and his wife, Michelle, were a really great couple to hang with. And uh, he, uh, was a, he loved boating. He had a great boat at one point. He had a Ferrari, I believe. You know, he was into cars. I mean, he was just one of those guys that just like, was into into it all and did it all well but he uh was also a, a composer and a singer and um he got to do a little of it on, on some of the projects that he did with other people but then he finally went into the studio and did an album called adults only it's the kids can hear it too though it's a great, great for some reason he called it adults only and I played on a bunch of the tracks. Bob Glaub played bass on some of the tracks. Um, and it's just, it was one of those projects that w was so great because it really featured um, Mike. And, uh, and since he's gone, his music still deserves to be heard. And so I thought I would share a few of the songs with you that we did on, on his album. Um, the first one I'm gonna play is called Greed. Um, so this is Michael Botts um, on drums, vocals, composer, did some programming on the stuff and everything. He was really a most gifted guy and kind of a hunk, too, you know. Chicks lo loved him. He was like inbred. He was like the guy you would, the girls would look at. Um, yeah, but the sweetest man. So let, let's listen a bit here to This Is Greed. Uh, and then I'll do a couple more before I depart and disappear into this mist that's starting to burn off now. So here we go. <laughs> But the road is long and rough You'll soon find out that enough is never plenty And too much is never enough Don't let your beat exceed your need Don't let your beat exceed your need 
need Let your greed exceed your need Yeah Don't let your greed exceed your need. Words to live by. Uh, we did that album uh, in the same room that at Sound, the Great Sound City Studios that I did uh, the Patrick Simmons um, stuff that I posted the other day. We were there a lot. And one of the, the real discoveries I had working with Michael on this project was a guitarist named Basil Fung. And uh, Basil's a great guitar player. And I remember at one point, um, I was going over to do a tour in, in France with Veronique Sanson, and they needed a guitar player for it. And, and I got Basil on the gig, and we went over and toured France together. And he's such a good cat, really a great guy and great guitar player. So that was a, a, a nice uh, little extra bonus of doing Michael's project was getting to meet Basil. And uh, so I'm going to do another song here. This is called El Dorado. songs, he covers some nice territory. Love to cover lots of different music. That's why he was a great studio musician too, because he could get called for anything, and he was great at it. Um, he was also a huge 
R&B fan, Sam and Dave, especially, you know, music like that. And uh, I'll do this one last song called What's That Coming? And this is kind of all of that sort of um, vibe. It's, it's, it's uh, really, really, I love playing these kind of songs with, with Michael. So um, this is called What's That Coming? Michael Botts. Wait. There we go.
Michael Botts, God, I miss him. He was such a good hang and so much fun to play with. He was such a great musician. But man, I loved working on his record. I love that there's the legacy of his music is still there. Um, and uh, if you want to check it out, it's called Adults Only. Um, it, there's a bunch of songs on YouTube, um, I think, worth worth checking out. But uh, one of one of the nicest people I've ever had the pleasure of working with in this business. And uh, when he passed, it was a true heartbreaker. But um, but we have his music to listen to, and I have memories of times with him, and that's always good. There's a whole bunch of those guys. I mean, Kenny Edwards and Andrew Gold, and so many are gone now. It's just, it's really kind of blows my mind when I think about the list of gone as compared to the list of still here. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. It's really tough at times, but... Uh, yeah, I'm grateful for every bit of time I got to spend with any of these these creative geniuses. Uh, loved them dearly. So um, I'm going to get running here. I'm going to go wake the pups up. Uh, this still, they this is just about the time they get up. So I thought I would get this done before that, and I can get them out for a walk before my interview. Get that done, and then start making some phone calls and seeing where the books and the T-shirts and everything are at at this point. How soon I can expect delivery and start to try to line up a few friends to come and help me stack books. That's going to be a full day. That's probably going to be about eight or ten hours worth of, of labor um, to get that done. But uh, it's got to be done, and I'm looking forward to it. And I'll be taking a pile home. We found somebody that, that, that takes pallets, which is great. So when we do the delivery, I'm going to be able to unload about 70 pallets. I'll keep... I'll keep about 20 uh, for myself so I can get a, the, f the first level down um, so it's not on concrete, which I don't want to have any damage from anything, but it's completely indoors, so that's good where they're, I'm storing them. Um, I'm rambling, so I'm going to let you get on with your day. I'm going to get on with my day. Um, again, thank you for all of the frontline people on in every sense. Uh, I know right now there's a lot of frustration around the country, and certainly in L.A., uh, it's really a shame they're closing down all of the eateries um, for e outdoor eating, everything. Um, the day before Thanksgiving, where all these restaurants had prepared for their limited stuff, but, I mean, they were all ready to serve people, and, and now it's all shutting down. So I think they're going to be scrambling to make everything um, deliverable and pick upable. But it's a tough time for everyone. My heart's with with everybody who's dealing with some kind of, you know, suffering and grief and, and, and just uncertainty of where the future lies. So my thoughts with everybody out there. We're all going through this one together. It's, it's, a, it's really a, a tough one, but um, especially, though, for the uh, frontliners in the hospitals and emergency services and all those things. Thank you so much for all you're doing uh, to to try to ensure some normalcy in the most abnormal of circumstances. So I'll be back, as I said, tomorrow uh, with the live stream at 3 o'clock. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there again. I so enjoy that. That's something every two weeks that I got on my calendar that I just got a big, big smile when it's coming along because it really is fun just to catch up with everybody and and like I've said in the past you know I'm in a band called the immediate family but beyond that this is all becoming an immediate family I think you know we're all in this together and sharing experiences and I really love when people are telling me what's going on in their lives and you know questions about things and they and I love being corrected when I say something that isn't right even though I I think it's right at the moment but somebody goes and does a little research and goes, mm, no, 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 that wasn't quite it. So that's uh, it's my learning experience too. Take good care, and I will see you all tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'll be glad when I've washed this a few times. It'll feel even better. Pretty cool. Ooh, uptown here. Wow. Not the other one yet. So talk to you later.